Welcome to another How's Coin Finds and another Coin Noodle. Today is uh, just one dollar coins. I want to go through them because um, of all the coins that I noodle, five cents to the two dollar, um, I've got to say that the one dollars to me are the most surprising that I get. Um, that I find lots of surprising coins in the one dollars is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, just, only just over the other ones, but I do feel that the dollars do uh, provide a bit better thrill for checking your coins, for me anyway. So I've got $400 of um, one dollar coins. There's 20 one dollar coins in a roll of our dollars. So there's 20 coins in there. Two dollar coins have 25 coins in it for fifty dollars. The one dollars have 20 coins for twenty dollars. The fifty cents has 20 coins in there, and there's a t that's a ten dollar roll. The twenty cents are a four dollar roll, and they have 20 coins in each one. The ten cents is a four dollar roll that has 40 coins in each one, and they have five cents is a two dollar roll, and that has 40 coins in it. So for anyone overseas want to know what's in the rolls, that's what's in there. Two dollars, twenty-five coins, one dollar twenty, fifty cent, twenty, twenty cent, twenty, ten cent, forty, five cent, forty. There you go. We'll have a look through these and hopefully some uh, really nice coins. And before I do go through them, Four of these rolls are just plain wrapped. There's these four here. They're just plain wrapped. Um, I've seen them to 50 cent pieces, but I think that's the first time I've had the dollars plain wrapped. Usually from the uh, bank, my normal Commonwealth Bank, they're army guards. So I'll be interested to see what's in these four. So I'll go through them and uh, See if they produce something really good. So I've actually got five of the plain rolled ones, so I'll open them first. Oh yes, so you all saw that, did you? Look, it's out. It's out 180. It's nearly 180 degrees out. Well, it is 180 degrees out, but there's the queen. So turning it this way, you can see that should be like that. So if we have it correct that way, and we flip it east west. Oh, she's facing east west. I haven't found one of these for years. They're worth really good money. Really good. That's one of the, you know, that's with like the uh, Incuse flag on the uh, 2050 cent. That's as good a find as this in terms of money because they sell and they're very hard to find. Look at that. That's a 180 degrees too. Beautiful. Nearly 180. Beautiful. And I've got to check it to see if it's a variety as well with the uh, 1901, if it's a thin date and if it's a large head. I'll just check now. That's no, not a large head. So the IRB underneath the Queen's neck is all joined. So that's all joined. So that's standard head. And then I'm going to check this bit, the 1901. And that looks like it's the broad 1901, which is the standard. There's a thin 1901 you can get. And the difference you can tell is, well, they look thin. And there's a bigger gap between the zero and the nine on them. So it's not a variety. Uh, there's two varieties to get. That one on the reverse. 
and the large head on the obverse. But it's an error coin. Rotated 180 degrees. Go that way, she's out, put it that way, flip it that way, put it that way, flip it, flip her, it's out. Beautiful. Now that one I just broke open before that, that got the rotated 2001 Federation dollar. Uh, that was out of the plane wrapping, but I'm just looking now at the plane wrap. I just realised inside it's armor guard. They've just wrapped them inside out, so there you go. I thought the bank had changed and gone to someone else. Didn't pay attention. I looked on the floor at the mess I've left down there and saw um, that uh, they were armor guard. I need that one for my set, Anzac set, 2018, beautiful, love the coin under there. Oh, you're kidding. That's two in a row. How amazing is this? Where's that other one? Well, that's the one I just found before. Look, it's out, 80. This one, let's see, put it there. We turn it and it's out about 160 or something. How's that? I haven't found any of these for, I couldn't even tell you the last time. It's a long time, tens and tens of thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands. And I've gone and scored two. That is amazing. Two in 400. That one's out there. And that one's out there. They should be sitting correctly that way. And then we'll be turning the queen because we're metal orientated. That's east-west, they get it the same. America and other countries are coin orientated. You turn them north-south to get the, the correct way when you look at them. And they're both out, look at that. That is amazing. So they actually opposite each other. Yeah. Oh, they actually, they're facing that's that's a three o'clock and that's a twelve and that's a nine o'clock if you was doing a clock. Hey? Eh? Because look they they should be the same. Well let's see if I do that. Yeah she's upside down to that, see? So it's rotated the opposite way to that one. So one's turned clockwise, one's turned anti clockwise when it's spun. And it's put them 180 degrees out and 180 degrees out to each other. That's amazing. Wow. Let's see, I've still got two, four, still got six rolls to go. Let's see if we can get some more.
Okay, so the first one we'll look at is the 1984 one dollar, 186 million they minted of those. Quite a number, but I like it. It's in nice condition, so not as good as the 85 I found the other week, but for fun, well, I have got a couple of better ones anyway. I'll keep it. Next one, 2019, third, fourth, lowest, whichever you want to take it. Uh, Mobaroos we have, 2.3 million, lovely. Another one, I've got two, the last one in the line. Um, don't find two million of them, so that was pretty good. Three, 2019, AUS, the Great Australian Discovery Hunt, or Coin Discovery Hunt, uh, released by the Mint, these ones were. And you found them, rang up, registered, and they gave away prizes during that time. Um, 1.5 million on each. It's got the A preview mark, the U, S. It's got 35 there for 35 years of the $1. And there it is there, the very first one. 84, the 2019. Preview marks, counter stamps, mint marks. They're always the ones to keep, ones that go up in value. That one's a bit rough though. It's got a bit of vertigus on me. So, don't know about that one. Then two really nice Anzacs, 2014 and the 2018. And I needed the 2018 to complete a set that I found four really nice condition ones, or two noodles back, I think it was. I found two lots of four, and one lot was the best. Put them together, and that one will complete it. So very nice. Uh, five years in a row, all the same, except for the date, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, coincide with World War One, uh, the 2014, that's this one, uh, 22 million. 2015 was 1.4, 2016 was 2.1, 2017, 1.9, and this 2018, 2 million. And it's in really nice condition too. And the four them. So happy for them. All right, then next is the 2019 a to Z, released by the Australia Post Office and Great Australia Coin Hunt. And um, 26 coins in total. They released 491,000 individually of that 145,000 tubes they made with coins in there. Um, and uh, in one in 10 tubes, there was a special letter A with a preview mark on it, which was an envelope. So if you had the A for Australia Post with an envelope, that's the special one for that year. 14,500, 2,000 PNC, 16,500 of them. Yeah, so the makeup was 346,000 that they were individual and another 145,000 went into tubes. So 491,000 individual coins. So very nice. Low mintage, uh, and that was good. K for kangaroo, and Q for quokka. So uh, that's pretty good. Don't find too many of them these days. Then next is the 2021, the Great Australian Coin Hunt number two. The so number one, number two, they didn't do any in 2020. Uh, no mintage figure is yet for that. And we have the Alpha Lyrebird there. So very nice that one too, nice condition. And then we have four of the latest Great Australia Coin Hunt 2022, uh, number three. So we've got one, two, and three there. That's pretty good. So four there, D for Daryl Lee, chocolate, beautiful. E for Echidna, and T for Tassie. So um, that's really nice there. Don't mind them, they look pretty good. Tassie looks really good, I like him. And the E for Echidna. Nice, Daryl E. But these two are nice. That looks good. Got all the Australian natives there, too. Lyrebird, kangaroo, quokka. Very nice. Then last is the three 2001 Federation. Um, no mintage figures on them yet, of course. Uh, 27 million they minted of these. 
This top one here is uh, out of, I think I found, there's about 10 of these in there. Uh, this one has the thin date, 1901. Bigger gap between the zero and the nine. And I have noticed it's a bigger gap between the one and the nine as well. So that's the thin date. These two have the thick date on them. So they're thick and that's a thin date variety. So that one's all right. And then cream of the crop is two 2001 rotated $1 coins. That's how they should be. Queen should sit straight up and down, north, south, but they don't. And they sit out to each other. So they're 180 degrees out, let's say, roughly they are. And they're actually 180 degrees out to each other. So, so how's that? So if I put the queen the right way. So that's the queen the right way. And this one's this way and this one's that way. So they're opposite to each other as well. That's amazing. So two of them, they're worth good money. They're very hard to find, geez. Can't believe I've found two, let alone one. I haven't found any for years. And I've looked through a lot of coins. And they have two now in the row. Poof. Yeah, that's pretty good. Couldn't ask for any better than that, unless a mule turned up. But yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so uh, once again, thanks for watching. Geez, I was about to go then, and I forgot that oink oink, piggy piggy time. So, maybe I should add some of these coins into here. Well, for a start, I know that there's no T in here from the latest Great Australian Coin Hunt. Uh, there's E's in there. I know that. I'll put one in. There's no T. So, let's put the T for Tassie Top there as well. And I know, I know it did have D. I had A, B, C, D, E, F. And we've got T. Uh, now the live bird, we don't have that in there. Bad like we do anyway. Got another one. And the K and the Q from the 2019. We don't have that in there. Put them in. Uh, I want the 2018, but I'll drop the 2014 Anzac in there. I might have already put one in. And then, um, I don't really want to drop that in because it's a bit grotty. It might dirty up the other coin. So just remember we need an A. So just remember we need an A from the uh, Discovery Hunt. So I'll put a U and an S in there. So those two can go in as well. So it's a U and an S. I might as well throw in a 2019. And I might as well put that 84 in there. There you go. Um, the 18 I want, that's a bit grotty. They're all in there. And there's no way those two are going in there. That one, I'll see if I put any varieties or errors in there because they're sort of hard to pick up on. They just look like a novel 2001 to somebody. So it's not worth putting in. These ones you would know, but them staying with me. And that's basically what it looks like. If you put the queen that way, that's what it looks like on the other side. Well, actually, it's opposite to that. It'll be looking. that that's how those two would look if you could see both sides there and there whereas it should look like that it's not it's like that so if I flip this over I'll see if I flip that it'll be if I flip that one we'll see that's uh they're out Real happy with that. That's one of the best scores I've had for quite a while. Yeah, that the be something pretty good to top that off. But anyhow, very nice. So until my next video, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, 
watch all my videos. Until my next video, bye bye.